Verbal Reasoning, Type 15, Word Analogies In word analogies, you are given two pairs of words. The words in the second pair must be related to each other in the same way as the words in the first pair. You must find this relationship and choose the correct word or words to complete the analogy. Pairs of words can be related in many ways, including the following. Type of analogy. Things that go together, like bat and ball. Opposites, like graceful and clumsy. Synonyms, like hide and conceal. Object and classification, like table and furniture. Object and group, like kitten and litter. Object and location, like car and garage. Object and part of the whole, like book and pages. Object and function, like pen and write. Performer and action, like teacher and teach. Cause and effect, like trip and fall. Homophones, like groan and groan. Let's look at the two different types of analogy questions that can be asked. Type 1. Completing the analogous pair. You are given two words. These words are related to each other in some way. Another word is given. Find the relationship between the first two words and then choose a word from the answer choices which bears the same relationship to the third word as the first two bears. Melt is to liquid, as freeze is to... We first look for the relationship between melt and liquid. We can say that if something melts, it forms a liquid. The second word, liquid, is the result of the first word, melt. We apply this same relationship to the third word. If something freezes, it forms a solid. The correct answer is C. Type 2. Choosing the analogous pair. In these questions, you must choose two words, one from each set of brackets, that will complete the analogy in the best way. We first need to find the relationship between fault and one of the words in the first bracket. Let us try to find a relationship between fault and blame. We can say that you can be blamed for the fault. Let's see if that same relationship can be found in the second pair of brackets. So if we do a perfect job, we expect to be praised for it. This is not an option in the second analogy. Let us find the relationship between fault and defect. These two words are synonyms. Is there in the second bracket a synonym for perfect? The synonym for perfect is flawless. The relationship in the analogy is that the two words in each group must be synonyms of each other. You now have an opportunity to do an exercise on your own. Click on Start the Test to begin.